In this video, let's talk about Maximo Mobile and role-based application security in the Maximo Application Suite, or MASS. I was setting up an environment recently for Maximo Mobile and came across this error and thought it would be interesting to share with you. So basically what happened is I was setting up Maximo Mobile and I could get the applications to display fine, but as I started to work with the applications, I received the error that's shown here. And highlighted in red, you can see the specific error. It's telling me for the technician application, Tech Mobile up here, the action read is not allowed on the object tool item. Well, I immediately knew what I did wrong is that I did not set up the security privileges correctly inside Maximo's security group application. So let's take a look at that. For Maximo Mobile and the role-based apps, role-based apps are also known as work centers in previous Maximo 7.6 and the mass environments. But basically for these two mobile applications, security needs to be set at two levels. First off is on the far left-hand side at the Maximo security group application, you have to say, okay, this security group has access to this application. So if we specifically look for technician, which is in the category of a tool or task, I need to grant access at that security level. And I did that right, right? So I can see my technician, which is over here in my schedule and materials tools, that shows correctly I granted that access. But what I didn't grant correctly was the access to the object structures. So when we look at these, again, maximum role and role-based apps, we not only have to grant access at the application level, but also the object and most importantly, the object structure access. I can't grant object structure unless I have object access. Once I have this, I need to say, okay, for work order, for technician, he also needs to see information from assets and meters, or in this case, tools. So this object structure access was not set up correctly, which is leading to this error. Now, I don't know if it's something that I missed when I was applying the security group template. Maybe I did not apply the security group template correctly, but there's a really quick and easy way that you can go into the security app and make sure those privileges are granted correctly. So let's go over to Maximo now and take a look at that. Okay, excellent. Here I am in the Maximo application suite. I've signed in as an admin, and now I'm in the security group application, and I want to bring up this group. It's called Demo. I'm going to condense the menu on the left so we can focus on this. I'm going to come right over here to Applications, and now I can see a couple of different things. There's over almost 190 apps, but I want to do a filter. So Maximo Mobile and role-based apps, you're going to find them under the application type of tool. I just put in tool and I can see that they all list out and there's 15 in the environment that I'm in. So if I look at this, for example, here's my asset manager and I can scroll down and I can see that there's access to both read, but also this is super important down here on the bottom. Can I access this application in Maximo Mobile when I'm disconnected? And in this case, it's granted yes. Now, role-based applications are set up a little bit differently. In this case, role-based app is operational dashboard. And notice as I scroll here, this application is only available in a connected browser mode. That disconnected mobile app is not available. So that's one way that you can distinguish the difference between a application that's available on Maximo Mobile and an application that's only available in connected browser-based mode. But let's look for our technician, right? That's what we were focused on with our error. And let me bring him up. Now again, those two functionality components are available. Here it is for the maximum mobile application. I can still see this in a browser connected mode, but down here on the bottom, this enables me to also access it in a um, disconnected maximum mobile mode at that single app. But we were talking about those object structures. Well, where are they? So if I come down here, come down from the applications, and now let's look at the options for the technicians. This is what I had done incorrectly. 
there's an action here that I can apply the template. If I apply the template, it should bring over all the objects and the object structure specific access that this application needs to access to. I must have messed that up. But in case that occurs, it's real easy to check. So what I want to bring up is this, the object structure authorizations. Now notice as I do that, again, from my tech mobile and this security group, I can see that there's 23 unique object structures that this particular application is calling on. And that makes sense because work orders pulls information from our assets, our asset meters, there's some hazard, there's inspection forms, all of this information, right? But what did we mess up on? We had messed up on our tools. So let me scroll through here. I could scroll through or I could do a search. Um, here's my tool item, right? Now I've since fixed the error, but if I scroll down here, notice that the error I was receiving before said I didn't have read access. So if you receive an error like that because you've set up your template correctly or maybe the template didn't get updated as the application progressed, all you have to do is come here, find the individual object structure, scroll down, and make sure the appropriate authorization is set. You save that change. I always sign out, make sure that it all clears properly, the cache, etc. But this is the key part. This is where you're going to see those object structures that you need access to for those individual applications. And that's how you can easily resolve those errors if you see them that appropriate access is not granted. So thank you very much for your time as we've explored Maximo Mobile and role-based application security.